for a laugh and the news you need, this is the 5RM Brecky Show with Trevor Scott. And it certainly is, and a very good morning to you if you just joined us. It is already six minutes past eight, and it's our opportunity now to find out a little bit about how we can learn what we can do to help our climate and our environment. Because, you know, it is really on the lips of everybody at the moment, isn't it? The things that are happening in on our globe with earthquakes, tsunamis, uh, just a, a range of horrible things that are happening to a lot of people why is it happening you know we probably will never find out the answers but you and i can do a little bit and uh, it's elegant solutions i love the the title of this uh, little website if you eat you are involved as well some of the lines and the young lady samantha jules put together an online book called elegant solutions for addressing climate change let's find out what it's all about good morning samantha good morning trevor oh this is very unique Yes, thank you. The way you've done it, I think it's groundbreaking because my first thought, I, I got the email from your publicity people and I thought, oh, yeah, here we go, and, and another big fat book full of paper made from trees which we had to cut down, which could have been cleaning our air. And then I read further and went, oh, hang on, <laughs> we get it online. You get it online and um, uh, if I may draw your attention to the website, it's, um, it's so that people can know how to get the book. It's Sick Climate, as yep. in the planet's not well, S-I-C-K climate.com and uh, they can buy the book for 19.95 or just look I, I'm so passionate about this information and the solutions that I'm putting forward that I'm happy for people just to donate it whatever they can afford if they can't afford that much money for it because I think it's things these are things that people can do the book is about empowering you it's all about education really isn't it and giving you some alternatives to the way that you're living at the moment in, in many cases absolutely this all came about because uh, you are one of the millions of people that believe that we can make a difference and australians in general are saying look we want to make a difference now yes and i i think the, the key thing is that we we've got all this land and with a fairly small amount of change to what we're already doing with it even in agriculture we can lead the world with what we're doing. So putting carbon back into the soil through our plants. So even if you're not up there being a farmer, you can do it in your backyard with composting and worm farms and manures, which a lot of people do, but just so that they know they're actually doing a significant thing doing that. Yeah, because little things like that, when you when multiply it among the, the thousands or millions of people that are doing it, it is going to make a difference, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, it's, it's really makes a huge difference, and people, I think, don't realise that they are doing that. So, But they can also become part of the zero waste movement. There's all sorts of wonderful things being done that I've got in the book about how that's going on, not just with recycling and taking your own bags to shop, but there's quite a lot of other sort of great things there. Yeah, and it's all easy stuff. There's nothing major there that we have to do to change our lifestyle to make a difference. Absolutely. I, I think that's what I think was the key thing for me was I, I kept hearing all this doom and gloom and they'll be, yes, but why isn't anybody saying what you can do? And the more I researched it over the years, the more I found... There was wonderful things already being done that we just needed to do more of. Yeah, yeah. all you ever hear from the powers that be is, well, we're going to have to find some money for this and find some money for that and put a tax here and put a tax there and a levy here and a levy there, when really you and I, uh, the, the little people of the world, can actually make probably a bigger difference than the big people. Well, that's right, because there's more of us than the, hmm. the big people, well, actually. Yeah, well, that's the point I'm trying to make. Little bits by a lot of people makes a big difference. Absolutely. And, really. and we can do it. And we've proved that with water here in South Australia. Yes. All the little people using less water, we've saved a lot of water. Absolutely. It's huge. I used to live in South Australia. I grew up in Adelaide. Oh, good girl. Yes. What, so made, you get out? what made you go out? <laughs> well, my, my family moved. I sort of was fairly young at the time. <laughs> oh, and I had a great deal of choice. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling as well. Uh, as you would be aware, you know, we, we're in the dry state of the driest con continent at the moment. There's plenty of water around. That's going to change. Yeah. And so we, we can put some of these ideas of yours from uh, Elegant Solutions into practice right now. A absolutely. In fact, now while there is water around is the time to do it because yeah. the protocols or things that I'm suggesting in this actually will help get the, the, the your environment or the land prepared for when the weather does change again yep. and also to help really get the weather, weather back on track because that's really what it's about. Yeah, we, we need plants. We need something to recycle that air and to, Absolutely. Uh, and to cool the earth at the same time because if, if you've got bare ground, well, that just absorbs heat. Absolutely, and, and this is what were the biggest things that were there in the farming area was how to get that land so, the, so that there isn't bare earth, so that it's, 
you know, not exposed like that. Yep. And, and that is mostly important. Look, I'd love to chat to you about some of the details, but I want people to go to the website, which yep. is sickclimate.com. Yep. Uh, look, it's only 1995. Or uh, you can donate a, a smaller amount if, if you feel it's a little more expensive than you can afford. But it's worth the read. And play the movie as well. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> you Thanks go. for your time. Thanks for your time. Good on you, Sam. Uh, that's Samantha. She's got another call coming through because uh, she's talking to people all over the country about this. But do go to the website. Uh, she also has a Facebook page. But it's just worth it. It really is. Just to get a few ideas. You know, I, people know I'm no greenie. You know, but I do like to think that we can make a bit of a difference with a worm farm or best recycling bits and pieces or just planting an extra tree in the yard. And as she said, this is the time of the year to do it. And we've got plenty of water around the place, you know. Uh, let's let's make use of it and make use of the softer ground as well. So there it is. Uh, go to the website. It is sickclimate.com. All right? If you don't have a computer at home, slip into the library while we still have it and uh, have a, a look there. Download the book and all that sort of stuff. It's-